King Lear's The Tragic Story of Two Man's Tales. Lear's tribulation with his three daughters is closely echoed by Gloucester's misfortune with his two sons. The parallels commence with a single word that sets both tragedies in motion. Nothing. When Cordelia's love is questioned by her father, she replies that she can say nothing. Then poor Cordelia, and yet not so, since I'm sure my love's more ponderous than my tongue. To thee and thine, hereditary ever, remain this ample third of our fair kingdom, no less in space, validity, and pleasure than that conferred on Goneril. Now our joy, although our last and least, to whose young love, the vines of France and milk of Burgundy, strive to be inter interest, what can you say to draw? A third more opulent than your sisters. Speak. Nothing, my lord. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing will come of nothing. Speak again. Unhappy that I am, I cannot heed. My heart into my mouth. I love your majesty according to my bond. No more, nor less. How, how, Cordelia, mend your speech a little, lest you may near your fortunes. When Gloucester questions Envin on the contents of his devious letter, he also replies, nothing. Why so earnestly seek you to put up that letter? I know no news, my lord. What paper were you reading? Nothing, my lord. No? What needed then that terrible dispatch of it into your pocket? The quality of nothing hath not such need to hide itself. Let's see. Come if it be nothing. I shall not need spectacles. I beseech you, sir, pardon me. It is a letter from my brother that I have not or read, and for so much as I pursue, I find it not fit for your o'erlooking. Give me the letter, sir. I shall offend either to detain or give it. The contents, as in part, I understand them, are to blame. Let's see, let's see. Nothing is a small word, yet it sets the chain of events for both Lear's and Gloucester's stories into motion. Out of nothing springs all of the tragedy presented in King Lear. Out of nothing comes everything. Thank you.